welcome back my name is priyendra kumar and this is the second video for sales dashboard and the first part of this video we have learn how to create these pivot table by using this raw data and we have created dynamic range also for pivot tables and by using this pivot table basically by use this pivot table we have created this graph also and now we will learn how to create these numbers and spark lines and the other slicers okay to the dashboard so let's start first of all i have taken the three tables i'll tell you why i have taken these three same tables so first two tables friends i have taken for the comparison graph for this graph and this table i have taken for uh, using these numbers and this is spark lines so we need the sum of the calls and basically the totals so what i will do i'll go to the pivot option and i'll enable the grand totals for this third pivot okay and we can remove this like we can keep this table like that so we'll use this table to creating the spark line and numbers and uh, first two table is for comparison graph and this table is for the location level sales and revenue graph which we have used already now what we will do will create the slicers first so by using this table i'll create the uh, slicer go to the insert and i will insert a slicer for the product this slicer will be for the comparison graph now i'll create the second slicer for the product by using this pivot so we can insert slicer from the analyze also go to the analyze and insert slicer for the product we have inserted two slicers for the product now let me format and we can change the style for the slicer okay i'm taking this one and just select both slicer and press control x to cut and paste here so these are two slicer we will use in comparison graph this comparison graph i will create three more slicer for this graph and these numbers okay now we will create three slicer by using this table okay go to the analyze insert slicer and we'll insert slicer for month product and location so i'll change the style for this slicer we'll take the uh, this style style 5 dark 5 and change the height as to so let me check the connection for location only product and sales should not be connected with these two table it should be connected by this table only see so we can change from the analyze this is the pivot table 10 this is the pivot table 9 this is the pivot table 8 okay and let me check the connection of the product right click and check the report connection it is connected with the pivot table 10 that's okay but it should be connected from the pivot table uh, this what is the name of this this is the pivot table 11 because uh, if i will click on let's say product 1 then this graph should be refreshed or any month then this graph should be refreshed okay so that's why these three slicer should be connected with two tables one for these number second for this graph okay so these all three uh, slicer should be connected with this table which is pivot table 10 and this table which is pivot table 11.
right click on product slicer go to the report connection and now i'll connect the pivot table 10 and 11 last two pivot and similarly for the month report connection pivot table 10 and 11 now for location right click report just select all three slicer press ctrl x and paste in dashboard sheet now check uh, for this graph i'll change the month then the graph is getting refreshed if i change the product then it's working if i change the location then still it's working okay now we can add the data level also in this graph add data level and for this also add data level now we can format data level we can showcase sales task uh, sales uh, data level inside and uh, sorry inside ways and for this we can show data level above can change the color of data level okay as friends now our slicer is ready we can format this we can keep it here for slicer here this graph we can keep here we can keep location slicer here and the product slicer here Now we will create the numbers which we have displayed these numbers basically calls and yield and other and okay now I'll go to this dashboard I'm just copying these icons and just pasting it here okay friend you can download these icons from google now i'll create this uh, line for the sales dashboard so i'll insert a word art we'll take this word art here i'm just renaming it sales dashboard or you can give another name whatever your dashboard about now select this and change the as 25 just keep it here or you can change the size of this and also the format you can take this one I'll go to the view and remove the grid lines. The grid lines have been removed. I'll change the size of this graph. Okay, friends. Now we'll display the number. So before displaying, sorry, before displaying the number, we have to create uh, in support. The number so what i'm doing you have to display these four numbers right so i'm just copying this space special value and transpose okay so for call handle my number will be this for uh, ast will be this for sales press equal to and select sales current total for revenue Press equal to and select, uh, select the revenue grant total. Now we have got the numbers here. We just need to format. Go to the insert and change the. And for revenue, we'll take the currency. So I'm pressing dollar sign. Bring the dollar sign here. Now I'll go to the dashboard. I'll insert a text box 
so i'll select this text box and press equal to in formula bar and go to the support seat and i'll take this number which is y1 for call handled now we will format this so first of all i'll change the uh, font i'll take arial rounded empty bold and we'll change the font number as 20 i'll change the font color also i'll take this one which is blue gray text to and in format i'll uh, go to the save fill and select the no fill similarly for outline as no outline okay friends so this is the number for call handled okay now i'll insert another tax box sorry and just drag it here now i'll put the name as calls handled and we can keep it here similarly we'll format this as no fill no outline and the color is the same color make it bold and the same font so, sorry remove the bold okay uh, similarly we'll copy these number and paste put for the sales this is for the sales and this is for the est average handle time and the last one for the revenue copy and paste here this is for revenue now we'll change the reference for this so this is uh, sales well i'll see the sales is on y3 so this is will take the y3 ast ast on y2 i'll take the y2 and the last is revenue revenue on support seat on the y4 i'll take y4 now format has been changed for these three tax boxes so what i will do i'll select the first tax box and go to the format painter in home button and click then click on this now again okay so format is changed so now number are available just check i'll select the gen five march so month wise number are changing if i will select this then Product wise is also working, location wise is also working. Okay, fine. Now, what we will do in the, this dashboard, we have displays month on month spark line. So, I'll create this spark line also in the next part of this video. Okay, friends. So, please watch the next part of this video. Thank you so much for the watching.